Hi everyone. Um, today what I'd like to go over with you guys and everyone out there is I'd like to show you how to build a T38 Talon. What we have here is the T38 Talon by Three Wing as you can see. We've got the instruction manual. This is a bare airframe kit. Um, it's a 64 millimeter kit. Uh, we've got, as you can see, that comes in the kit. We've got the airframe, left and right wings, the tail section over there, which is the uh, vertical stabilizer, elevators, and uh, horizontal stabilizer. And we've got the little cap. Okay, that we're going to go ahead and install the uh, left wing, and uh, we're going to use again some CA glue, so um, and some accelerant. So you want to be careful that you don't get this on your fingers. see we've got both wings on the glue has set up as you can see she looks real good I'll give you a little shot there there's the uh, top of the uh, fuselage both wings are on glue it's set in real nice all right we've got the uh, horizontal stabilizer glued on to the airframe here to the back of the tail section and it's basically the, it's it's the same process as the wings so I've got that completed and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to install the uh, vertical stabilizer. Stabilizer installed. We've got the tail installed, the wings, we've got the nose cone, and now it's starting to look like an airplane. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead by the directions. We're going to install the landing gear here on the bottom. So uh, let's go ahead and get that installed. And that just kind of slips in right here to these little slots. All right, now we've got the landing gear installed, and she's starting to look like a model. So the next process we're going to do is we've got our engine here, our ESC. These are the components that are going to go in, inside the uh, airplane. And we've also got our fan unit here. So we've got our fan down here and our casing that the fan goes in right here. So we're going to go ahead and put these together. All right, the next process what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the engine in, inside the casing here. Put our engine, our ducted fan, it kind of goes in like this. We're going to install it with screws. And then we're going to go and we're going to glue our ring on, our airflow ring. That's going to go on like that. And then what we've got here is our fan parts. This goes on the shaft of the engine right here. It's going to sit on the shaft. And the fan unit is going to go into the assembly like this. And then what we're going to do is put the nut right on here and tighten her up. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and we'll get her in the aircraft. All right. We've got the uh, fan unit installed, the fan assembly, okay, and what we had to do is we had to put everything together and we had to do some sanding down in here to make sure that the impeller spins freely because that's very important because what happens is if the impeller strikes the case, okay, what it does is it wears on the blades and then the blades become out of balance and you get your different length blades and it, it will vibrate the model, you'll feel, you know, so how this fits together is what we want to do is this is going to sit inside the engine bay and if you look down in there you can see where the airflow kind of comes through you know and kind of goes back through there so this piece is going to go with this piece we're going to make this, these two together we're going to set them down in there so let's go ahead and do that and find a piece here Put it in the groove as you can see kind of sits just like that with our wires up, we'll put a little glue on there, and then she just sets down in here like this. All right. One thing I want to point out is after you get the engine glued into position into the centerpiece, what you want to do is you want to put four little pieces of glue right here because you don't want to glue this piece down in solid because if you ever have to get access to the engine or replace the engine, um, it's easier to do. Part is to install our ESC. Okay, and this is a 30 amp ESC. We're going to lay this right in here. We're going to hook the prospective yellow, red, and black wires onto the uh, motor. We're going to lay our ESC in here and run our wires down in Put through. Put our uh, receiver in place, which we have here. Okay, we're using a, our AR500 spectrum receiver with a nice DX6I. This is our DX6I that we're going to be using which we're going to uh, bind and show you how to do that. But the next part is, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, install the ESC, get it set in place, get it secured. We'll do a receiver check, get it 
get the receiver installed, bind it to the radio, the transmitter, and then we'll install our three servos in the place. What we've just done is we've did a pre-receiver hookup to our ESC. We've also took the, the receiver and bound it to the radio. And that is a jumper plug here, which you take and install into the receiver and you use your binding switch on your radio. So now we have power on with the battery every, and we have our elevator servo in place, temporarily in place, and she works. And the reason why I like to do that is because when you pre-fit, you want to make sure your, your elevator servo is going the right way so that because when you get it installed, you don't have to be taking things back out. We know we got a good receiver. It works. We got an ESC. Everything works. And this is just a temporary installation to kind of help you through the process so that you don't hook up everything and then you find out later, oh, I've got to take this back out or take this back out. So we're good to go on this part. We're going to go ahead next. We're going to lay down our wires, get this secured, we're going to install our receiver, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to take and install our... Uh, we've got all this cleaned up. We've got the elevator servo installed. We've got the wires cleaned up here, running through. We've got our ESC installed. We just got to put a piece over here. This is where our... Um, this is going to be our aileron servo. She's going to sit in like this. Of course, I'm going to rotate this over. She's going to sit in like this, with this rotated towards the back. The wire is going to go down through. We're going to hook that up next. And we'll rotate it over, kind of show you what we've got here. And as you can see, there's our receiver down in here. We've got the aileron servo installed. The ESC installed, everything on the bottom is complete. As you can see, the linkages are all hooked up on your uh, ailerons, running on both left and right. We've got everything secured, she's ready to go. And now we'll rotate over to, this will be all painted by the way, we'll touch this paint up where the uh, blue needs to go and stuff where the tape is, so it'll look real nice. Okay, we're back on the top here, we got everything completed on the bottom. This is our uh, Rudder and nose gear steering servo. It's going to set in there like this. We're going to get that installed, run a rod that goes over here, back here, and run to our nose gear. Left off tire. with our servo that was just laying up here temporarily installed. As you can see, we've got it permanently installed. It goes back to our rudder and it goes forward to our nose gear steering. So just now give you some complete. idea. This is the battery you're going to be using. We're going to be using a Trinity 1.8 30C. This is the battery and it weighs about five ounces. It's a little bit uh, bigger than what goes in there, but it's got a good capacity and it should give us plenty of flight okay, time. we've got our battery installed. Weight. She sets in there real nice. It just fits, real nice installation there. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and wait. The good news is we're complete. She's ready to fly. Everything is hooked up, installed. There's our left aileron, right aileron, up elevator, down elevator. Got right rudder, left rudder, and we got also got our nose gear steering, as you can see. And then looking at the front of the model, you can see, in case you're wondering, that's how the engine sets down in here. If you look down in here, you can see the engine. She's kind of down inside here. That's the fan that's going to suck air through here, make thrust, give us our thrust, so that's how the model flies. And then we also got our nose gear steering here, which is rigged into our, uh, with our uh, rudder. And we've got left and right, left and right. Go ahead and weigh the airplane, we got our scale. Basically, I'm just using a scale that's for uses for food preparation, and it's in grams. So we're going to see how much the model weighs, so we get some idea how she's going to perform when we do the thrust check. Okay, she, the model weighs one pound, five ounces. So that's pretty light, and we'll see what the engine's making. Power here, we'll do a run-up check on it, and I'll go ahead and show you how we do that. Do our thrust check. We've got our scale set up. It's all ready to go. It said in ounces, we're going to run the airplane up at high power, see how many ounces, how many pounds of thrust the model makes. Remember, it weighs one pound, five ounces. So this check is very... What it was, was 15 ounces, almost a pound. We're one ounce shy of one pound of thrust. So if that's the case, we're looking at around, she should fly pretty good. Again, 15 ounces of thrust, one ounce short of a pound. The model weighs one pound. Talon. It's complete, the build video is complete. Everything's installed, she's ready to fly. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching. Hope you enjoyed the build video.